guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be kind of a different um, video um, I'm going to be doing like a QA, and a uh, just a couple things about me um, well movie related um, most of them I think there's one that isn't um, just a couple questions that I've been asked so let's go ahead and jump into it so um what movie do you regret buying? That would be Cloverfield. Um, I totally regret buying this. It was a blind buy when I did buy it, but it was incredibly boring. Made me sick when I watched it because of it moving back and forth because it's one of those um, found footage movies. But um, yeah, it was horrible. Um, what scary movie gave you nightmares as a kid? That is a no-brainer. Freddy Krueger. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. That one gave me nightmares for months. I couldn't sleep. I thought he was going to come get me. Um, and I think the only one that I can actually watch is the remake because the first one... I actually just got that one. Um, the first one actually still gives me nightmares um, how many movies do you have in your collection um, well movies like as in DVDs and blu-rays I have as of right now I have 601 I actually do keep track of them in this little folder I have I put numbers on them and have them like that but I also have some on my computer and I have VHS's so um, I would say maybe a thousand or more um, could be uh, VHS DVD blu-ray or 4k um, I would say DVD um, I do have a lot of VHS's because that's what I started with of course but um, not really a big fan of 4K because I haven't really gotten into it. Blu-rays, I do like Blu-rays, but I don't see really the difference between Blu-rays and DVDs so far. Um, but I think DVD is what I'm into right now. Um, what is your favorite book? That's really hard because I love to read. Um, Right now I'm reading two books. I'm reading After and You on, well, I'm listening to them on Audible. Um, but the one that I couldn't put down was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I think that one would probably be my favorite. Um, favorite genre? Horror, of course. I absolutely love horror. Um, uh, favorite horror movie franchise? That would be Halloween, of course, Halloween, and Scream. Those ones are kind of a tie for me. And I do like, um, I do like, uh, I know what you did last summer, but I like Scream. Um, favorite movie? That one is a tie between The Craft. Sorry about the glare, guys. And Now and Then. I really love these two movies. Um, the Craft, of course, if you haven't seen it, it's about these witches. And uh, Now and Then is about kind of a coming-of-age movie. Um, top three Netflix movies. Um, I can only think of two right now. Um, Mustang. That one is... A really good movie it's about I can't remember how about how many sisters I think it's five sisters um, and they grow up in like Istanbul and they're under lock and key but it's a really good movie and extinction I just barely watched that one that one's really good has a good twist um, what movies do you have no what movies do you want that you don't have um, I really want Dark Skies. Um, I really want to get that one. Bohemian Rhapsody. I really want to get that one when it comes out. And the new Halloween when it comes out. Um, favorite TV series. That one is Degrassi. 
That is a Canadian TV show, and I absolutely love that show. Um, the Secret Circle. I love that one. And one that I'm watching right now currently on Netflix is You, that I've been getting into. <sighs> um, if you could re recommend any movie, what would it be? And I think that would be Mask with Cher. I really love this movie. But, I mean, I could recommend tons of movies, but I really like that movie. Uh, what or when did you spark your interest of movies? So I'm assuming that means when did you get into movies. Um, I want to say... Oh, let me see if we're still recording here. Yeah. I want to say when my dad got a surround sound system... Um, and got the movie Twister and just turned cranked it up I think that's kind of when I got into that we've always loved movies and we've always bought VHS's and then Nightmare Before Christmas um, we've always had um, fond memories of watching movies so I think that's maybe they've always kind of instilled that in us as, as movies um, so I think maybe my nine, eight, eight years old, maybe. Um, number 14, um, what movie will you watch? What movie will you never watch again? The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Not because it was bad, but because it scared the crap out of me. That movie gave me nightmares. It made me scared of everything. It was horrible. I will never watch that movie. I won't even own that movie. It was, it scared me to death. Um, and the last one. What horror movie or what horror franchise do you dislike? And that one's easy. I hate Saw. I think it's overrated. Um, I think there's way too many and it's just disgusting. I don't like it. It's, um, it's pointless. A lot of people love it. I just think it's dumb. Uh, and there's way too many. Like, I mean, okay. I know there's a lot of Halloweens, but at least they're good. I mean, most of them are good. But with Saw, every single one of them is just gross and dumb. And I, I just don't. A lot of people are going to say that I'm wrong, but that's my opinion. So, with all that being said, sorry. Um... Anyways, um, so yeah, with all that being said, um, yeah, that's it for my Q&A. If you have any other questions, um, make sure you leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to it in my next um, Q&A. Um, also, check out my previous video for the review of Hellfest, um, and make sure to like this video if you want to see more videos like this, and um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and hit the notification bell. Uh, so you can keep updated on any new content and new videos when I do upload. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!